join me, and I will complete your training. With our combined strength, we can end this destructive conflict and bring order to the galaxy. I'll never join you! If you only knew the power of the dark side, Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. What the fuck? No. No, no. No. No, he says... He says, Luke, I am your father, okay? I've seen this movie five, six hundred times, okay? He says, Luke, I am your father, alright? And it's not magic mirror on the wall, it's mirror mirror on the wall. What the hell's going on? It's Mandela Effect. Wake the fuck up, okay? Again, remain calm and wait for further instructions from authorities. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. I can't cope with this any longer. Something very strange is happening around the world. Where almost half of the population say they remember things in the past from a different timeline. As if two timelines have bridged together to form something that half of the people say was always like it is today, and the other half saying that it was not like it is today. This effect is called the Mandela Effect, after Nelson Mandela. And was coined by the fact, that many people remembered Nelson Mandela dying in the 1980s. They say they 100% remember this, but somehow, history, has changed. If you are someone that suffers from this effect, of memory from a different timeline, then this video might very well, blow your mind. So, stay tuned, as Esoteric Detective, brings you the top 5 strange examples of the Mandela Effect. Number 5. A small example of this, we can give in its clearest form, with the original movie Star Wars that came out in 1977. Look at this photo of C-3PO. Does this look like a normal photograph of C-3PO? Look long and hard at it. And this kind of blew my mind when I saw this. But. This is not what C-3PO looks like now. This is what people say he used to look like. What he looks like is this. Do you see his leg? It is silver. But in this case a good portion of the population remembers him being completely gold in color. This is what the internet says is a photograph from 1977. And there are plenty of examples that now history shows, that C-3PO, always had a silver leg. It is like the C-3PO, with the entire gold body, has been erased from from original Star Wars history. And I am talking about the original films. Not from any remakes or remastered versions. Since that is a different C-3PO. Let's take a look. Another anomaly, using the Star Wars film, to set more context for this, is the famous line, that Darth Vader says to Luke. Do you remember the line? That's right. He says, Luke, I'm your father. That is, Luke, I'm your father. But now in the movie, Darth Vader says. And I quote, No, I'm your father. Let's take a look. And let's see if the line makes sense to you. 
to me, it does not even seem to sound right. He told me enough! He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. He told me enough! He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. No. I am your father. No. I am your father. But wait, you might think, maybe it is just misremembering? But, if so, what does the actor who played Darth Vader remember? That is, James Earl Jones? Well, let's take a look. When I first saw the dialogue that said, Luke, I am your father, I said to myself, he's lying. I wonder how they're going to play that lie out. When I first saw the dialogue that said, Luke, I am your father, I said to myself, he's lying. I wonder how they're going to play that lie out. When I first saw the dialogue that said, Luke, I am your father, I said to myself, he's lying. I wonder how they're going to play that lie out. Now, isn't that really strange? The actor who played the part, at least read the lines, and voiced Darth Vader, remembers it different an immortal line in film history. And strangely, he remembers it as those who suffer from the Mandela effect. Well, you might say, it was just a slip of the tongue. Well no, because let's look at another clip of him saying it again. In a completely different interview, years apart. Let's take a look. Don't you think that is weird? That the actor, the main actor, who said the immortal line, would remember the words not only totally wrong, but keep misquoting them, years apart in different interviews? Let's look at the scene again. The scene, that just does not sound right that small portion of us, who remember it a different way. He told me you killed him. No, 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 no. I am your father. Does the line make sense to you? Or in your mind's eye, is it supposed to sound different? To many, the line just sounds wrong. And they cannot understand why. But there is the original movie, that is what history now says is said. Number 4. Parts of other movies are changing. At least how we remember them. That is, well-known movies. Like the famous line from Field of Dreams. That famous line that goes. And I quote if you build it, they will come. This is what most sufferers of the Mandela effect, who have seen the movie remember. But this has now turned into and I quote, if you build it, he will come. Let's take a look. Does it sound right to you? A simple Google search shows, at least what people are searching, and it is not. If you build it, he, will come. Could so many people who have made pictures with these words on them, that are fans of the movie, enough to do so, be wrong? Or misremembering it wrong? Also, that famous line from Snow White. Mirror, mirror, on the wall, 
who is the fairest of them all. Well, guess what? That never happened. The line now, as history says it is. Magic mirror, on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? This, even though, many people know it as, mirror, mirror, on the wall. Kind of strange, don't you think? Another famous example is from the movie Jaws. In which the famous line, or so those with the Mandela effect say, is. We're going to need a bigger boat. Do you remember that line? Well, it's not that line anymore. The line is now. You're. Going to need a bigger boat. And remember Silence of the Lambs. That line that was famous, that everyone quoted. That line that Hannibal says. Hello. Charisse. You know, that line that he says from the jail when he looks at her. Well, you can't find that line anymore. It does not exist in any copy of the movie. It is like it vanished. Or in this timeline, it was edited out. Good morning. Dr. Lecter, my name is Clarice Starling. May I speak with you? And then, what about that famous line from Forrest Gump? That line everyone used to quote in the 1990s. In that Forrest Gump voice. That line, that said. And I quote, Life is like a box of chocolates. That is, life is like a box of chocolates. Well, now this might sound really strange to those of you suffering from the Mandela effect. But that line is now. Life was like a box of chocolates. It does not even make any sense, on a writing level. Life was like a box of chocolates. Life was like a box of chocolates. Life was like a box of chocolates. Another thing is, not just popular fictional films, that seem to have been changed. But many people swear, that for instance, the famous footage of JFK, only had four people in the car. That is, that 1963 footage of JFK, before he was shot. But now that footage has six people in the car. That is, two extra people. Have a look at the footage, does it look out of place to you? These are just some examples from how movies are said to be changing. But there are many. I will do more of these in the future, but for now, let's move on. Number 3. Text is changing. That is, the text we look at. Do you remember that famous movie called? Interview with a Vampire? I sure do. But now it reads Interview with. The. Vampire. It does not seem to be the same movie as it was before, to a lot of people. Also, remember that TV show called? Sex in the City? That is how people remembered it called. Well, guess what? It's not called, Sex in the City. It is called, Sex, and the City. Other examples, and there are many, are the famous Berenstein Bears. A popular children's book and show from the 1980s and earlier. Well, guess what? It is now, and some people say this does not make any sense, but it is called. Not Berenstein Bears, as some people suffering from the Mandela effect think. But in fact, Berenstein Bears. What do you think? How do you remember it? Also, many spelling of famous people's names have changed. At least people who suffer the Mandela effect say. Here are just some examples. Number 2. Visuals are changing. That is, things that people remember, 
are no longer there. For instance, many people believe that Curious Giroge, the famous monkey from children's books and TV, had a tail. But guess what? He doesn't according to history and never has. But that has not stopped costume makers, who have been making costumes of him for many years, still giving him a tail. Lots of people swear that he had a tail. A long one that was curled. Do you remember this? Or are you one of the people, for who, he has never had a tail? Also, if you are a Christian and also suffer from the Mandela effect, you might well remember those famous pictures from the Bible, of a lion laying with lambs? It was based on the famous Bible quote, by Isaiah 11:6 that read, The lion will live with the lambs. Remember that? Well, that is no longer here in your history, if you remember that so. For now, it is. The wolf shall live with the lambs. And the strange thing is, to those that suffer from the Mandela effect, they swear that the passage read, the lion will lay down with the lamb. But now the lion is gone. Instead, he has been replaced by a wolf. One with strange green eyes. And look at the eyes of the lambs. They are black. Maybe there is a hidden message in this. I don't really know. But I do know that it is hard to erase the past, it would seem, because people still can find pictures of the lion and the lamb. The big question is, why would people draw them so, when it reflects no passage? For there is no passage in the Bible with a lion and lamb together. Maybe in time these pictures will be gone as well. Who knows? But to those with the Mandela effect, this feels very ominous. But let's move on. Maps are also changing. One such example is said to be many people who remember a large land mass of the western coast of Australia, the size of New Zealand. They say it was a large land mass, but no one can remember its name. But people swear it was there. They remember it. But if we look at a map, indeed the island is not there. You might think this is misremembering. But in fact, in the 1990s movie, Dazed and Confused, as if left by some ghostly remnant of the Mandela effect, we do see on the globe, a picture of the island. Right there, in the film. It is, a very large land mass. Just where people remember it. For something of a weird icing on the cake, the island's location, was right where flight MH17 went missing at least where search teams were sent to look. Something to think about. But other islands have gone missing also, and these have been thoroughly recorded. For instance, people remember an island called Sandy Island. People said they have gone there. It has been recorded on many maps from cartographers around the world, and sighted by many ships. But there is one problem. It is not there anymore. That is, it is vanished from the planet. And is also starting to vanish from history. But this is not the only case. People cite examples of many islands and places not being the same. Land masses, such as Mongolia being much larger in size than they remembered. It gives you food for thought, that if the world is really being edited, then who is doing the editing? There are also accounts of people who have shown up in our world, saying they are from countries that do not exist, such as the man from Torrid, and his documented case and refers to an account of an identified Caucasian man who arrived at Tokyo International Airport in 1954, saying he was from a country called Torrid. No country by that name exists. The man insisted on his origin presenting a passport, driver's license and a checkbook issued to him by the state of Torrid. And he became very upset when he could not find his homeland on a map. He was taken to a nearby hotel and was placed under police guard, but mysteriously vanished the next morning. The Tokyo police launched an investigation, but came up empty-handed. He just appeared, with all the right paperwork a passport from Torrid, and then vanished. 
It seems there is something very strange going on in our world. At least, to some people who are picking up on it. There also seems to be a link between people suffering from this Mandela effect, and people who suffer from tinnitus, that is intense ringing of the ears. This was brought to light on the Mandela Effects Facebook group, once those who suffer from the Mandela Effects got together. What this means, no one knows. There are theories, but thin in the way of any evidence. Some people point to the experiments at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, and that their experiments are somehow changing realities. Others point to the fact that we are in a simulated reality, by some supercomputer, and someone is hacking it. Maybe the beings that created it. Or maybe someone else. Others have brought up time travel, and that someone might in fact be playing with the past. Then there are others who say it is human consciousness that is changing things, in the same way it has been said to change things at the level of subatomic particles. That is the double slit experiment. Others say it is not happening at all. And it is just our imagination. That it has to do with how the mind remembers sensory inputs in a different way. And that these stick more than our true reality, but whatever is happening, it is clear that for a certain group of people, this is a real phenomena. Something that needs more research, whether psychological or something more ominous.